Hey YouTube, Opinionated Reviewer here, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can get iOS 5.0 beta on your iDevice without registering your UDID number. Now you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need iReb, you're going to need um, your IPSW for 5.0. I have everything in the description down below. And you don't need iTunes 10.5. So let's get into it. It works for your iPhone, your iPod Touch, and your iPad. Don't worry about it. I'll show you guys. I already did it on my iPod Touch. As you can see, news stand is right there and reminders. So let's go. You're going to right click iReb. Go to properties. Compatibility. You're going to click this, run this program in compatibility mode 4, and click Windows Service Pack 2. Click run this as an administrator. Click apply, and then click OK. So now you're going to click iREB after you've done that. And this is just to put your iDevice in upon DFU mode. Let iREB load up. So now I'm, I'm doing it with the iPhone 4, so I'm going to click the iPhone 4. Now you have to put your iPhone in DFU mode. You're going to hold the sleep button for 3 seconds, then hold the power and the sleep button for 10 seconds. Sorry, the power and the home button for 10 seconds. And then release the sleep button and keep on holding the home button until iRev recognizes your iDevice. So let's go. We're going to click it. I'm going to 1, 2, 3... And I'm going to hold it two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to release the home sleep button and keep my hold of the home button until iRev recognizes our iDevice. And it recognizes, so now you can release. It's just putting your phone in the phone there. If you move, nothing's going to happen to the screen. Just click OK. Let it clean up itself and X that out. Now we're going to open up iTunes. And we're going to click Shift Restore. And that IPSW that you downloaded from the links that I gave you, you can put, put it on your desktop or somewhere where you can find it. As you can see, I have mine here for my iPhone 4 5.0. So let's go click that. And just click restore and let iTunes do its thing. Just let iTunes restore the iDevice. I'll come back when this is finished. So now we're back. iTunes already restored the phone to iOS 5.0. And I don't have any SIM card in, so this is the message I get. Don't worry about that if you have your SIM card. So I'm just click OK. And then you can see down to the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see, but it says slide to setup. So what you're going to do, you're going to click slide to setup. You're going to select your language, or English, uh, whatever region you're in. And then, then you're going to pull, you're going to select uh, your Wi-Fi network. I'm going to do this off camera. This is just the setup. Not sure if you have to do this, but this is what I've done. And everything has worked. Just set it up normally. Click next after you've done that. And it's going to try to activate the phone. But since you don't have your UDID number registered, it's not going to activate. So what you're going to do now is triple click the home button to activate the voice over whatever it is. One, two, three. And you see it's activated, so it's just reading this. So now what you're going to do is just use three fingers and you're going to tap up here on, on the clock and use three fingers and swipe from the top. And there you see it comes up. So what you're going to do is double click the weather and it goes in. You could just click OK on that. And after you click OK on that, you can just click the home button. And bingo! Messages. You now have iOS 5.0 and you didn't have to register anything. Yeah. News Who's them? <laughs> but as you can see, let me just turn off that voice thing. It's annoying. So you can see I have newsstand. And as I said, this works for 
your, your iPhone, iPod Touch, your iPad, as you can see, I have my iPod Touch on it as well. So this is how you can get iOS 5.0 without registering your UDID number. Uh, key, key notes to remember, it doesn't unlock your iPhone, and every time you power off your iDevice, you have to repeat the step from uh, swiping to the top. So that's good to remember. Every time you power off your iDevice, you're going to always have to repeat the step. And with that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.